The Ministry of Defense has signed a 1,561 crore rupees contract with Heavy Vehicles Factory for the procurement of 47 T-72 bridge-laying tanks for the Indian Army. The U.S. is likely to offer the 180 km range aim 120 D-3 long-range BVR missile to India, which is the most advanced variant of the AMRAM. U.S. President Donald Trump is considering to elevate India's status to be on par with NATO country members, that will allow India to enjoy the same privileges in defense procurements like purchasing the F-35A. In a major development, India has officially joined the Euro drone program, that is led by Airbus Defence and Space as the prime contractor. The Indian Army has started replacing its Dragunov sniper rifles with the more advanced Sarko TRG-42 bolt-action sniper rifle. Indian startup Armoury is all set to unveil its surge drone jammer at an upcoming Defence Technology Expo. National Aerospace Laboratories and Astra Microwave will collaborate for the development of technology demonstrator for active radar cross-section reduction in phases antenna array for AMCA. A HAL team is scheduled to visit the US in the coming weeks, for final negotiations on the 99F414 engines deal, that will be finalized by the end of March. Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment will collaborate with Indian vendors on the development of autoloaders for Indian Army's Ranjit FRCV project. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India's Star Rifle has turned out to be the lowest bidder in UP Police's tender for 405 units of 7.62 by 39mm rifles. Indian Army's Mohindra Armado Advanced Light Specialist Vehicle has been improvised for firing the Conker's M80 GM. The DRDO has announced that it has successfully conducted a ground test of scramjet combustor for 120 seconds for the first time, demonstrating its potential for operational use in Mach 5 Plus next generation hypersonic missiles. The ground test of scramjet combustor showcased several notable achievements, like successful ignition and stable combustion, and the indigenous development of endothermic scramjet fuel jointly by DRDO and the Indian industry. Bangalore-based Q-Alpha Aerospace is set to showcase a scaled-down model of its Mach 10-capable RHH-150 breathing variable range multi-role hypersonic swarm UCAF at the upcoming Aero India 2025. It will have an operational range of 3,600 km, and is designed for reconnaissance strike and support roles. It combines hypersonic speeds with unparalleled agility, and advanced AI systems with swarm capability to deliver mission-critical capabilities across diverse operational scenarios. Q-Alpha Aerospace has announced its work on the development of J-10 multi-stage artificial intelligence augmented 10 kN turbojet engine, that is designed to revolutionize propulsion systems for next-generation hypersonic-capable drones. It features artificial intelligence for better system awareness and real-time operational efficiency. After India joined the Euro drone program as an observer, officials have said that this involvement could be the precursor to India integrating advanced European UAV technology into its military strategy, potentially leading to technology transfer co-development or even co-production agreements. This step also fosters stronger ties between India and key European nations, potentially opening up more avenues like the Tempest 6th generation fighter. Today's top 3 comments.